live on Twitch right now. I've been going for over five hours. I've got nearly 19 hours left because I am doing a full 24-hour stream to celebrate the launch. So definitely come check me out. Twitch.tv forward slash Fastidious underscore GG. How the heck are you, everybody? I am Fastidious. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Wuthering Waves. The game finally officially came out about four hours ago. I've been so excited to get in the game and explore. Point of this video is I want to tell you how quickly you can unlock summoning in this game. It's called Convenes and how you can re-roll if you choose to do so. So we got to answer the question, what is re-rolling? Then why would you do it? How do you do it? And how long does it take to reach that point? So first off, let's get right into it. Maybe some of you don't know, especially if you've never played a gacha game before. Basically, these gacha games are predicated around this summoning principle. You know, this pulling of new heroes and there are chances and there's randomness. You can be lucky, you can be unlucky. This is the idea of a reroll. Essentially, your initial account is a roll of the dice. If that roll does not go well, you make a new account you then reach that point where you can summon again and you roll again. So it will require making additional accounts if you choose to do this. It also requires grinding out to the certain point in the game I'm gonna tell you about where you can actually summon. So that point where you have unlocked the summoning mechanic or the convene mechanic in Wuthering Waves and you'll just rinse and repeat till you get what you want. So what's the point of re-rolling in Wuthering Waves? Well, to me, the beauty of Wuthering Waves is it is skill-based, unlike many other gotchas, or at least it's much more so skill-based than other gotchas, let's put it that way. Because of that, you can really play with whomever you want. Because that's the case, you can kind of just be like, I like this character for whatever reason, I hate this character for whatever reason. Whether it's because of playstyle or aesthetic or anything, you don't have to be, you know, have your decisions dictated by a meta. Because of that, you can kind of key in on, I think these characters are cool, and then you can make sure, especially because of these starter banners for beginners in this game, you can kind of make sure you end up with the characters you like. So what are the banners we're talking about? Well, as you can see, the initial convene you unlock is called the Novice Convene, aka Utterance of Marvels. Essentially, it's a discounted banner. Normally, 10 pulls gives you 10 characters. Now, 8 pulls is going to give you 10 characters. So essentially, it is a 20% discounted rate. Also, the max pity, the hard pity, the point at which you've summed enough that they guarantee you get a five-star resonator is 50. Normally, it would be 80, as you can see on these other banners, but for this novice banner, they're throwing you a bone, it is 50. This allows you to really roll the dice a bunch early and try to hit exactly what you want. Another reason it's very appealing in this is there are only five standard five-star characters currently in the game, since it's a brand spanking new game, it launched just a couple hours ago. So if you decide there's only two or three you really want, you can actually control your chances a decent amount to make sure you hit one of them. Let's say though, you're like me, and there's two that you really want, or three that you really want, you can really make sure you get those, because once you finish this banner, as you see right here, the beginner's choice banner, the beginner's choice convene, I'm gonna keep saying banner, the beginner's choice convene will unlock and this is a five-star selector banner. It guarantees that whenever you do hit a five-star on that banner, it will be whatever specific five-star standard unit you have selected to be the reward from that banner. So, let's zoom out now. If there are two or three heroes you really want, essentially what you can do is make sure that on this initial banner, you hit one of those three five stars or one of those two five stars. I'll use myself as an example in a moment. Then once you hit that, the beginner choice convene opens up. That will be open indefinitely until you hit the five star on it. For that, you pick your favorite remaining five star. So I'll give you an example now. I do not want Encore and I do not want Verena. There are five heroes, right? We have Encore, Verena, Jansen, Ling Yang, and Kalcharo. Kalcharo is my first choice and then I would be very happy with Johnson or Ling Yang. Just, I like their designs better. I don't want to play as a little girl, so I don't want Encore, I don't want Verena. If on this original novice convene, I hit Johnson, Ling Yang, or Kalcharo, I am good to go. I do not need to reroll. I've hit one of those three, and then if I hit Kalcharo, I'll just pick one of these two. I'm not really sure who I would lean towards. Probably Johnson at this point. I know these two, Ling Yang and Johnson, aren't the most meta and powerful, but I just think they're really cool. Kalcharo, I also think is cool, and he also is really meta. So if I hit him, I'll have to make the decision. But if I hit one of those two, no question on the selector, I'm going for Kalcharo. So this guarantees absolutely I will get my first choice, Kalcharo, and I'll get one of my next two choices. However, there is the risk, there's a 40% chance I'm going to hit on one of the two that I don't want. Encore and Verita. So if that happens, I've made other accounts. 
I log out of this one and I grind it back up to the point when I can again do some summons, get on a Convene, and roll my chances in the gotcha for another honest try. So that's what re-rolling is. That is why you would do it in Wuthering Waves. So now, how do you do it? What is the point you reach, and then what do you do? Well, you unlock Convenes and the ability to summon all together at around Union Level 4. You can think of this as your Journey Level or your World Level. This takes, if you rush it, maybe about 30 or 40 minutes. If you take your sweet ass time like I did, maybe it's gonna take an hour to two hours. But you know, if you're not reading every bit of dialogue and you know, you're not listening to everything happening and you're not taking your time exploring, you can knock it out pretty darn quick. At that point, you will have unlocked it. You will get one Lustrous Tide. That is your standard summon. That's the currency, this little green orb up here. That is the currency you will use on this banner. So that will be one. Then you will get your day one login. If we go over here to events, you'll see you get these daily logins for your first week. That is another. Now you might be wondering where do these other five come from? Uh, I'll tell you about that in a second. However, that's two, so now you have two, and then you get another 20 from the pre-register rewards. So if we look over here, you will see rewards, Wuthering Waves, they reach their big milestone of over 30 million pre-registers. So at that point, you'll have the two I just showed you, and then these 20, that will be 22. Remember, it's a discounted banner, so you can do three 10 pulls for the cost of only eight each, so 24 total. This would put you two off. Well, there are even more to claim from the item exchange. So if we go over here to the store, you can see an item exchange. When you summon and you get the worst possible thing you can get when you summon, the three star weapons, you get a certain currency called Oscillated Coral. This Oscillated Coral, it's 15 per three star weapon you summon. And for 70 of them, because they're on discount for these first 40 days plus, they're only going to cost 70. So AKA just less than five three-star weapons. On average, you're gonna get eight or nine three-star weapons per 10 pull. And again, on the discounted banner, a 10 pull costs eight pulls, only eight currency as opposed to 10 because of that 20% discount. So let's say it's the worst case scenario, which actually wouldn't be a bad thing. It means you got more four or five stars and you only got eight out of those 10. That means for every eight pulls, you should expect to get a minimum of eight three-star weapons. Eight times 15 is going to be 120. So with your first two 10 pulls, which again will only cost 16, you will get 240 and you only need 210 to get another three of these. So you take your 22, then you have another three. Basically, you have three 10 pulls and then one left over, which you can use if you want. But those three 10 pulls already for the cost of only 24 instead of 30, that should give you a really good sense if you're gonna hit early and get really lucky. And most people will have to go to the full 50 convenes. Remember that will cost 40 summons, 40 currency, 40 tides. Um, but if you do get lucky and you do hit early, and I wanna show you guys that is possible, if we go to info, you do have that 0.8% chance, then that's great and it's an amazing roll and you can continue. If it's not, then you can decide you want to restart. If you choose to do the 30 convenes for the price of 24, the three 10 pulls, that will give you a 17.5% chance of hitting early, of hitting early on a five star, and then hopefully it's one of the two or three that you are looking for. That will give you a 21.5% chance of just over one in five that you hit an early five star, and then hopefully it's one of those two or three that you are looking for. However, if you want to go a little further in the story, you can progress to the point where you reach union level five. Again, this is like your journey level or your world level, and that will give you another five. So that's why you're not seeing two for me, you are seeing seven. If we look over here on the awakening journey, you get little bonuses when you hit different union level things. When you hit union level five, which I'll tell you doesn't take too long, that's another five. That gives you seven. Bring the other 20 that you were getting from the pre-registration award. Now you're only going to be five away from the 32 you need for 40 convenes. This will put you both 10 away from hard pity of getting the 50 convenes to guarantee the five star, but also give you another 10 pulls worth of odds that you can hit an early five star. And if you do 40 convenes, you'll have a 27 and a half percent chance, just over a one in four chance to hit an early five star. And again, hopefully it's one of those two or three that you are targeting. Getting to this point, I think takes no more than an hour and a half if you're going quickly. If you're going rapid speed, maybe it takes an hour. This is not for the faint of heart, but you know, if you're planning to play the game for the long run, if you're a big min-maxer, especially if you're a free-to-play player, no reason not to grind it out a couple times if you need to. So as you can see by the seven over here and the 20 I'm gonna claim right now for my pre-registration rewards. So I have 27 now, and certainly I'll be able to buy another five from the store using the oscillated coral I'm about to get. We're gonna do summons in one moment, but there's one other thing I have to say. Right now, it's still original launch day in the game. 
starting on day two, which hits in just a couple hours, everyone and everyone in the mail is going to get another 10 summons, another 10 standard summons. You're also getting another 10 radiant summons, so that's pretty cool. Those are the limited banner summons, limited convene summons, but you also get 10 lustrous tides, the standard summons. That's from the launch stream they ran on May 20th. If you wait for that, or if you're just watching this video a couple hours after I have filmed it, well then you're in luck, because as you can see, that will put you easily over the 40 summons you need, aka 50 convenes, to guarantee a 5 star. Then you can just keep re-rolling, re-rolling, and re-rolling. So that's very much my plan for the other accounts that I've made that I'm gonna roll on if I don't hit right now. But without further ado, let's do our first ever summons in Wuthering Waves. Ideally, we wanna hit Kalcharo, he's my number one, but if we hit either uh, Johnson or Ling Yang, we're fine because we'll just pick Kalcharo for the selector. Uh, I will say if I hit Encore, and certainly if I hit Verena, I know Verena's gonna be very meta, she's OP as a unit, but I do not wanna play with her. If I do hit one of those two, Reroll it is. Without further ado, let's do some pulls. While this happens, let me say I'm live on Twitch right now. I've been going for over five hours. I've got nearly 19 hours left because I am doing a full 24 hour stream to celebrate the launch. So definitely come check me out. Twitch.tv forward slash Vesidious underscore GG. Uh, let's see. There's a four star weapon, a lunar cutter. That's pretty cool. And you can see there's all our oscillate coral. So we hit nine of these three star weapons. That gives us 135 oscillate coral. So certainly we should be able to get enough. We need 350 total, uh, and I think we're going to get that. Let's go again. Let's see what we can do. We want this thing to turn gold. Then we'd be, then that'd be pretty sweet. I right, purple again. This is what we're going to expect. There's the broad blade of Voyager. Let's keep going. Let's just skip ahead. I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. Hey, we pulled another Yang Yang, so that'll be S1 Yang Yang if I decide to roll with this account. Let's go again now. We're not getting too lucky with these early ones, huh? We should be able to do one more, as I described. I'll explain it in one second again. Let's skip here. There we go. That very thick young lady, Tao Shi. As you can see, we have three more, but we can just buy five from the shop. So let's go over here. There's a little quick teleport button. You can see we've got plenty of this oscillated coral. Uh, excuse me, make, let's go to the oscillated coral section. Let me just quickly say, do not use your asteroid, your premium currency, ever on standard summons, ever. I'll probably go off on it in another video, but it is essential that that will only be used for radiant tides. We should be able to nearly buy this out and get the five that we need, the five that we were looking for. So let's click on our lustrous tides over here. Uh, let's get those. Now you'll see. We'll still be able to get one more after this 10 pull as well. If we head back here, we have exactly eight. Can we get lucky on this one? Come on now. We cannot. So basically my plan now is going to be I will continue until I get enough tides that I can max out this banner. We'll see what we can do. Otherwise, I'll just roll, roll, roll on the other ones and hope I get lucky. Did we get a nice uh, four star at least? What's it going to be? Uh, looks like a little, I don't, but why am I going to look at this? Hey, look, Discord, and it's in purple. How cute is that? There you go, guys. I hope this answered a lot of questions. I hope the video doesn't turn out too long. Guys, again, I'm live on Twitch right now. I will be until 8 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, so the next day. Uh, I've got a lot of time ahead of me. Check me out. Subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Share with your mother. See you real soon. Fast Didius.